Angular in Trouble, Johnny. When was the last time you, you did some Angular development? Yeah, I have to admit, I was a AngularJS developer before I moved to React. Me too. Wow. So we have both left Angular. Maybe it really is in trouble. But on the other hand, it has a lot of stars. So who can really say? AngularJS was such a great time. And I mean, back then it was so advanced and we could do so much. And when Angular 2 came, came along, React was way more advanced at the time. I switched from AngularJS to React. I guess a lot of developers uh, have done that as well. Probably you as well. And uh, it's actually interesting on the internet because there's a big difference uh, to the community if you're saying AngularJS or Angular, which refers to, I guess, Angular 2 and the um, versions that came after. It's almost, to some people, it's almost as if you were using Java and JavaScript interchangeably. They go, they get really upset on the, on the internet. But anyways, Lars Ninsel published... Uh, a blog post, Angular Struggles in 2020. Uh, lots of um, points which unfortunately are not so surprising. Um, lots of abandoned, abandoned package, uh, uh, GitHub issues and uh, pull requests which are hard to maintain. And another point which I had no idea about, but unfortunately I cannot say that uh, I am surprised. Uh, lots of problems and struggles in the management team at Google to lead the project and uh, apparently accounts of burnouts and uh, uh, other stress-related incidents and um, yeah so apparently the project is not uh, doing too well. I definitely encourage you to, to read up some of the stories about how the project was managed at Google and some of the struggles they went through. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of resources and interest on how you can haste your coding interview at Google. But these stories also gives you quite a perspective of how, I mean, not always, but how, you know, a project um, can be managed in these big companies and how political can it get and, you know, the games you have to play and so on. It's uh, people who want to make it to Fang, I think also should uh, read up about these stories not necessarily to discourage you from applying to these companies, but to have a sense also of, uh, you know, how things can go. Sometimes there are a lot of uh, ego involved and it's lots of complicated stuff, right? It's politics and... Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, with these uh, companies especially, I think this is why you also bundle them, bundle them into a category is uh, because sometimes these, the processes in there are... Um, really messy. I think in the case of Angular, I feel like as we uh, evolve, their mistake was maybe just like to do a little bit too much. I feel like the reason why React is uh, is winning is because they are like so close to um, normal JavaScript and uh, they like don't invent so much of their uh, own abstractions. So, for example, you don't use like ng4 to loop through things, but you just use like the regular JavaScript map. This like makes it um, f super future proof because like you you can always bet on JavaScript. This is not going to uh, not going to go away. Um, yeah, I feel like that is the reason why um, it is like more sustainable in the long term. Of course, like you can add fuel to the fire if uh, uh, you manage Angular badly. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I guess there will always be some legacy applications, but for a new project. So you make a good point, which was uh, also mentioned in the article, is that of course the tool chain of uh, Angular now is so big and so difficult to maintain. It's just uh, a monster basically, and they are really struggling to to move it forward and um, yeah, man. But uh, AngularJS was a uh, throwback, was uh, was quite a good time, I think. I remember and Protactor, Protactor was amazing. So you could have like really end-to-end -end testing and do a bunch of crazy stuff. And looking back, I was definitely like the worst um, Angular developer. Um, I just like used this feature that you can like 
assign a variable and then do like dollar scope dot dollar apply or something. And like sometimes I even like put it on two consecutive lines so it uh, just apply and then it somehow worked. But I never even like got it to work that <laughs> I can split up like components into different files. I just had like an 800 line line of code file. Um, it was still fun though because um, it still worked nonetheless. 